Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is, of course, Catman Joe, and welcome back, everybody, to another brand new video, guys. Today, of course, we are back on some Minecraft, and today, guys, of course, we are doing another episode of how to build an NPC village, folks. Now, in the last episode, I said that would be the last build, which was actually one of the NPC aesthetics, uh, obviously, over here for the, I guess, Spruce NPC village. But as you guys maybe would see, obviously, I found two more new builds that actually I must have missed in the past, and there's another one I'm going to be building as well, guys. So there's still three to go until, or I guess two, pretty much after today's tutorial until we can actually get to the next village now ah, i'm sure a lot of you guys seen it i kind of spoiled it a little bit but folks as you can see right here i've been working on a bunch of new tutorials for the future guys these are going to be obviously the next installment of this little series which will be one of the most anticipated and most asked for obviously village i guess tutorials which will of course be the plains village now again i'm not going to show you guys too much of that because that will be for tutorials in the future but anyway folks let's get right back to where we were so anyway guys today we're going to be working on the npc spruce library now i think this really is a library i don't really think there's any other name for it it's either it's the large house or one of them um, or it's a library because you know it's got the, li uh, the library and I forget what these things are called the these these book things the book holders plus it's also got like a couple bookshelves up here so I'm guessing this is a library guys but yeah today we're gonna be building this folks and uh, as always guys I will have the shopping list all down below and um, yeah let's just get right to it folks so yeah for the like for the uh, spruce library shopping list you guys will need a stack and 13 spruce logs two stacks and 28 cobblestone three cobblestone stairs two cobblestone walls 18 spruce trap doors, 11 torches, 1 spruce door, 3 red carpets, 2 spruce wood stairs, 1 lectern, I think that's that, that is the name of it, I actually forgot, at least I don't know, uh, 12 glass panes and 6 bookshelves, along with 1 poppy, 2 large ferns, and 9 grass blocks, guys. Now, obviously, of course, grass blocks could be just replaced with dirt, of course, but obviously, if you want to make it look just perfect in the way it's supposed to look, obviously, you know, grass blocks are your best bet, guys. So, yeah. Anyway, let's just get everything out here real quick, and then we'll just get right to constru uh, construction folks also uh, i know you'll be probably watching this i know you probably think i've already forgotten about him but nonetheless i did make a, a bit of a i guess favor that i do this but big shout out to finn mertens the human he commented on one of my last episodes this isn't something i'm gonna be doing every single week or anything like that but he did comment on my last video actually asking for a shout out so yeah shout out to him mostly because i love adventure time and uh, his name obviously is of course finn from adventure time but yeah so you're gonna want to begin by picking a corner if you guys don't know how we do these tutorials the yellow is what we don't build on the white is obviously what we do build on and we're gonna be we're not gonna be putting in the floor until the very last or the very end or whatever all right guys so yeah you're gonna to want to pick the back corner of the house or the you know the bowl itself then do a five wide little wall so two three four five like so bring this all the way across like this we'll make one big square kind of thing just to begin with because that's pretty much what you're going to want to do with obviously i guess to begin with even sorry guys then from there we're going to go right to the very middle and we're obviously going to just make one wide hole here this will of course be for the door this will be where your grass blocks go and i mean you guys can see right here, obviously, it's kind of obvious to see what we're doing. And this will be where our also uh, cobblestone walls will go, so we can add them in real quick. Just get just get rid of, I guess, a few things out of our inventory ASAP. We'll place, we'll, we'll place, we'll place the grass blocks uh, like this all the way across and do this perfectly, guys. By the way, as well, I, I actually forgot to mention that, which kind of was very stupid, but this entire wall at the back is nine blocks long. So if you guys are curious, for instance, from the corner, you would go, obviously, five blocks this way, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks that way, and then, you know, all the way back around and connect it. But yeah. So from here, we're going to go up two blocks all the way around, except from where the windows would be, which obviously be on the side. And there is some in the middle, but we'll do the side walls first, like so. And we'll actually start putting in the windows because it's kind of symmetrical on the sides, but it's never symmetrical on the back. It's always kind of different on the back than it is to the front. And um, as usual, guys, I mean, I always try and say this in my tutorials uh, when I'm doing these, but don't take it too serious, folks. There's probably a very high chance that you're going to make a bit of a mistake. And uh, guys, these things happen. Don't take it too serious and don't get too, I guess, upset or hard about it. You're going to make a mistake, no doubt. If you don't, you're an absolute mad lad and GG to you. But if you do, don't take it too serious. And remember, folks, like a bit of like a Bob Ross painting, there is no mistakes, just, I guess, happy accidents. Um, you know, just take your time with it, folks, and you'll get it right. Or even add your own kind of like, I guess, a little personal touch to it. It's obviously, you know, really nice when you can do that. But yeah. So as you guys can see here, obviously we're going to have three windows in the back like so with one uh, one block in between and two blocks at the edge like this and that's obviously the back wall right there. Then we're going to make our way to the front wall and I do believe there's windows in the front as you guys can see. Yes, there is. And uh, we're going to want to build a little door frame to begin with first because this will make life just a, just a lot easier to actually work with. Obviously, we're going to make this and we're going to place our glass panes here. One and one like so and then just connect this all the way over. I know it looks kind of weird by the way, this part here, but because there is a large fern that goes here, it kind of, I guess, it, it doesn't really remove the fact that this 
this one's longer you know like there's two windows here when there possibly should be um, but it does kind of help I guess disguise a little bit so if you're a bit of a what's it a bit of a perfectionist like myself who thinks it should look perfect then don't worry I, you guys can see right there it kind of does it kind of it, it kind of hides it a little bit better but nonetheless anyway so let's uh, get our torches out as well we'll add two torches on the front we'll do all the front main aesthetics first and then we'll obviously make our way to the next floor so obviously from here folks you're going to place your trap doors upwards not downwards because if you guys don't know there was always a, oh well would you look at that wait hold on wait did i do that i done it wrong well that was okay that was my apologies there folks so yeah place your trap doors downwards like this so they go upwards like that my apologies folks it looks like your man kind of made a little bit of a mistake right there guys a little bit of an oopsie but nonetheless we got it fixed folks we got it fixed but uh <laughs> i honestly can't believe that normally whenever i'm doing this like the biggest thing that i tell you guys is you know i i do pay a lot of attention when i'm building these to all the details uh, you know aside of course from like mossy cobblestone and stuff like that because obviously as i'm sure you guys can imagine those things do change per you know spawn of each build so you can't really always get that one perfect or that kind of i guess aspect of uh you know adding i guess mossy cobblestone and whatnot perfect but it is one of those things when it comes to these parts like the trap doors and whatnot i try and always do that part always perfect but hey it looks like i've made a little bit of a mistake but nonetheless anyway so we're going to come inside like this and we're going to place down our two actual uh, what's it called our two spruce stairs and then our lectern it's called yep right here beside it and along with that front we're going to also place our three red carpet now then again we could have just dug up the floor because that probably would be a little bit easier since i guess it's uh I, well we don't really want to place the carpets yet so we'll dig up the floor real quick right here folks we'll replace this all with cobblestone there's no wood that goes here at all all with cobblestone add in the door then place the carpet back down and it'll be good to go guys so yeah now i've said this as well in the past if you're doing these tutorials folks and you have the shopping list exactly and at the very end you somehow have extra don't be feeling like don't feel accomplishment don't feel like you've done something great you haven't you haven't done something good it's like building a car you don't want to end up with more bolts than what you started with obviously guys you want to make sure you use everything and put it all right back in the right place so if you have extra that isn't always a good thing guys so just be aware of that but yeah so let me just real quick just run on the inside as well real quick just let me just go check this out uh yeah stairs go here they go three tall okay fantastic just double checking folks just th there's no harm guys there's no harm at all in double checking obviously it's always good to make sure things are i guess 100 perfect uh i mean as perfect as it can be i mean it can obviously always be 100 perfect but nonetheless so on the inside as well you're going to want to place two torches like this on these kind of main pillars there and there and then across here at the very back place a torch here like this get out your stairs the three of them of which you should have and then place a block underneath each one as you go up like this so we'll do two blocks and then three like that and there you guys go that is it now you're right to obviously start adding in the floor now for the floor itself i believe it I, i'm pretty sure at least we should have just checked there but i'm pretty sure it's just all cobblestone i mean let me just go have a little bit of a peek i was gonna just i knew i should have checked it guys my apologies it is yeah it's all just cobblestone so for the floor it's all just cobblestone then we'll add in the walls and stuff like that the roof is actually one of the, the more i guess annoying parts to add in actually believe it or not but it isn't obviously the most hard or the most difficult part but nonetheless so yeah we'll get the stairs added in we'll add in the floor right now so just fill in the entire floor just every single aspect of it um including like just what well, every single part of it just fill the entire floor and like so so you only have this one little gap like this guys but yeah now from here we're actually going to start building the main front and back wall now this part is going to be a little bit of a pain guys but trust you know try and try and follow along it will be a bit of a pain guys but we're going to want to make one solid wall and then make almost like a pyramid kind of thing going all the way up to the very top and we're going to do that on the front and back i'll show you guys what i mean so come upstairs like this do a solid line across the front and of course do this on the back as well because this part is the exact same on both sides and if you do this correctly you should have no cobblestone by the very end of this um, so right now we've only we've only got 34 so yep like this then what we're going to do is add another full pyramid like this on top again we're going to have an, we're going to probably run out a little bit a little bit of cobblestone sorry uh, mostly due to the fact that we're not adding the windows yet but we'll add them in like last if we have to uh, or if we can even we'll obviously probably have to add them we'll, we're probably going to have to add them in a little bit earlier but nonetheless so like so you guys can see right here I mean a mistake there you guys can see like this right here I'm making a lot of mistakes right now guys look at this a nice little pyramid on each side and then from here folks what you can actually do right now if you want is you can actually adding your windows up here now they go two blocks up and i believe the window should be here i'm just double checking yep it is the windows are there there oh they're there and they're like this so there's like a, the exact same as they are on the bottom floor obviously on the back hand side obviously they are on the top so it's very 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 easy to replicate and it is the exact same on the front as well the build i believe yep exactly the same so the windows again of course if you're doing it just go like this two blocks above the actual original windows one there one there and one there like that fantastic guys that's great right there fantastic right let's make our way upstairs and 
where's all this cobblestone there should be i think an extra piece i believe or no, a couple extra pieces right here fantastic there we go and now from here we can add in the roof if we want i think honestly it's probably best adding the roof but you know before you actually add in the bookshelves and whatnot because if you don't it's gonna be a little bit of a pain guys so just saying probably best to do that right now but add in your roof and make sure that you make every one of the logs all sideways guys they've all gonna be sideways and they've all gonna be about seven blocks long so that's four five oops excuse me five six like that and we'll add another one on front of here so that's seven right there and again we'll do another seven and you basically want to just do the entire pyramid shape all the way down all the way down the back it's very easy very simple and i feel like it's quite obvious guys as well i mean i feel like you you guys are smart enough listen folks i'm not going to sit here and down talk to you guys i know you guys are all smart enough to be able to know what you're doing so don't worry about a thing i'm sure you guys will get it right and um, as I said, you know, try try experimenting with this. If you guys are building this for yourselves and doing this in your own world, I mean, take it upon yourself. I mean, a lot of people don't always say this, but it's the truth. But adding different colors sometimes makes these villages better because I, although I do love these villages for the colors that they have, the spruce, you know, the oak, whatever, they all do look really lovely and beautiful. Some of them, I mean, you guys probably don't know what I mean when I say some of them. Well, you know, and, and do kind of have a bit of a bland kind of texture to them. So when you add in maybe some stripped kind of, I guess, logs or maybe some different types of wood and, you know, here and there or some crap cobblestone or mossy cobblestone if you're really willing to add that in yourself it does add a lot more extra texture to the build itself and make it look a lot more realistic than what it obviously does originally when you just build it you know the same as this because it's obviously just the, the i guess the, the this is just the traditional kind of bland way of building the actual houses uh the npc villages or npc village buildings themselves but yeah it's, it's your call guys it's your call so anyway let's keep adding this here and here like this and uh, hopefully i've got music in the background as well guys i don't want to be don't be just me jabbering on with no music i'm, I'm sure i will but nonetheless i know we've been having some corporate issues in the past so hopefully uh, that will be working right now but anyway right we're almost out of logs that's fantastic that means we've done something right guys done something right uh, i do need to guess i can obviously fly guys because this is a great world of course so you know before anybody goes commenting hey how are you able to fly it's you know host privileges <laughs> like this you know you can't survive in a super flat believe it or not but yeah uh, we'll just rush to the side over here and we'll get rid of this like so and as you guys can see here i've only got five blocks left six blocks now if i add this all the way across perfectly you guys can see this should be all that i have in my inventory now obviously of course as well if you want you can add the front door and uh, the front door does open to the right so we're gonna add it line we're gonna add in the door like this so it opens up and to the right like so and uh yeah bob's your eyes uncle guys that is it done that's you pretty much right there pretty much finished the ball now I just realized something else I don't think I've addressed yet, but for some reason I am missing a window. I don't know how that is possible or why I'm missing a window or if I misplaced a window somewhere. Maybe I did. Maybe you guys see me. I'm not too sure where I misplaced a window or how I, how did I misplace a window? I very, I'm honestly very lost now, but there should be another window here, guys. And I, I clearly just don't have it. But anyway, so from here, guys, obviously, you can now obviously, of course, add in your front, obviously, uh, garden right here. Your front, your front piece, I guess, uh, what's it called grass and obviously your trap doors as well and i believe this one is obviously coming downwards up yep i made a mistake there again guys a little bit of a little bit of a, a rookie mistake right there folks I'm, I'm messing up honestly a lot today guys it's been a bit of a busy and eventful day folks i'm trying to double upload along with making these videos and it's very difficult to keep on top of that honestly like 24 7 it just it isn't always very easy guys but yeah so then we're getting these right here let me just double check this uh up and up that's what the mistake is we didn't miss oh i see oh you see what i mean folks this is some this is some next level rookie mistake here guys look at this oh man terrible honestly someone's already gonna be commenting joe you suck man this is this is just this is just despicable look at this i do apologize folks for the front obviously it's just two windows not three my apologies you guys probably seen that way before me and it's kind of embarrassing that i missed that um but yeah two windows oh. What, what is wrong with me today what is wrong with me today man you can well tell it's a wednesday we're halfway through the week what is dude place it there stop you you go over there glass all right nobody loves you all right okay there we go fantastic see there er, nothing bad happened guys yeah nothing bad happened whatsoever you guys didn't see anything did you no good good man good man exactly none of us seen anything weird all right there we go fantastic guys now now that we've got that obviously added into the front right here we can add a torch up here like so go around the back add another torch up here so there's a torch in the front and the back of the house like this so it looks fantastic and now we can obviously just add in all the small little details so we can come in place our three red carpet at the front part like so come upstairs we can of course from here place this three blocks in like that and then place our six bookshelves right there behind us fill this area right here in with three cobblestone as well and i believe we're going to add a torch here a torch here and i think there's one that goes here and one there i want to say i may be kind of wrong guys so let me just really quickly just rush on over and just go double check and say the house i believe that's the right kind of design but I'm, i might be wrong um 
there there and it goes one block higher that's what it is guys but yeah that is pretty much us finished with the build folks we just got to upgrade or upgrade we just got to move the torches one block higher that was a little bit of an oopsie again but yeah there we go is that it that, there we are fantastic right we'll put the torches up here right at the very top in like the middle of like the cross kind of formation right there fantastic folks there you guys go that is how to build the npc spruce village library guys and that is the entire tutorial folks nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy that window pane we never seen that guys he was he, he was never here, guys. He was never here. But yeah, folks. Anyway, guys. Hope you did go to enjoy today's video. I know it was kind of a little bit random. I know we were honestly expecting to end the series, folks. Like, not end it, but end the actual spruce aspect of the series. But obviously, guys, I found a few more extra builds that I didn't actually see before. That I did need to obviously build and cover, guys, before I go moving on to the next type of village. But trust me, folks. The new type of village is coming, guys. But yeah. Anyway, folks. On that, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you guys did go to enjoy. As always, if you did, please be sure to drop a like. And of course, share it with your friends and family. Sharing it is the best way to help my videos get over there. You know, get there a lot further and obviously it is really 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 appreciated and of course if you know the channel as well please be sure to subscribe um obviously guys we're working our way around to 21,000 subscribers and then on to 30,000 so you know any sub is always really appreciated folks and it does mean a hell of a lot guys but yeah anyway folks on that thank you for watching today's video i'll see you guys on the next one have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you guys are and you guys peace out